Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix issues with FC24 crashing, freezing, not launching, and other problems such as error messages and stuff on your Windows computer. So if you haven't done so already, check out part one to this video in the description below, the link's in there. So to start off with, first I'm just gonna say, I have created a program called Easy Game Utility. Now, if you don't want to watch the first part of the video and you kind of can't bother to go through loads of different troubleshooting methods, then you can download this program, links in the description below, go to the fix tab, go all the way to the bottom. You can then go browse and locate the FIFA.exe, so FC24, go open, select which launcher you purchased the game in, so I got it on the EA app, and then just go attempt fix. And then Easy Gamer will run through some different different troubleshoot methods and try and fix the game and hopefully that will resolve the issue you're having and you get free attempts with the free version to do that. If you buy the pro version then there's also this magical button here, the golden button that will do even more deeper fixes and analyze issues and give you suggestions to what could be causing issues with FC24 not working on your computer. So I just clicked on it there and you can see now it's running through, it's doing its thing. I can see the EA apps now launching and it's about to start up FC24 after it's ran through all those troubleshooting methods. And with a bit of luck, that will resolve the issue on my computer. And you can see there it's now popped up with a load of different suggestions as well of things that it's detected, which could be also causing the game to not work. I can see right now though, that I do need to sign into the EA app. So that's why it's not launched the game for a second. So yeah, it's definitely worth checking out Easy Game Utility in the description below if you're interested. So the first thing that we need to do is open up the start menu. Now, once you've got the start menu open, you now need to type in advanced and then system, and you need to open up few advanced system settings. Just type out the whole thing if it doesn't pop up. You then need to click on the advanced tab and then click on settings under performance, and you now need to go across to advanced. The next thing you need to do is click on change under virtual memory. Now you need to change this to automatically manage. If yours is already on automatically manage, then the next thing that you need to do is untick this option and then click on custom. Now you need to type in the numbers that it shows here under recommended. So you can see I've got 4466, 4466. Once you've done that, so don't type in 4466, type in the recommended number that is shown for your computer, then click on set, make sure you've got your C drive selected and then go okay. Once you've done that, go ahead and try and launch FC24 and see if that helped. If it didn't, then the next thing that you need to do is stay on this window and go to visual effects. And we're just going to bump this down to do the best performance. So click on adjust for best performance. You can always change a few of these settings just to make windows look a bit more pretty. But if you use your computer just for gaming, then it doesn't really matter, does it? So once you've applied that, try the game again and see if that also helped. Now, if that didn't resolve the issue that you're having with FC24, crashing, not launching, blah, 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 then the next thing that you want to do is disable any VPN services that you may be using on your computer. Yes, VPN services are amazing. They keep you private, secure, whatever they say in all the marketing. Um, but anyway, um, disable your VPN service as it could be causing FC24 to not launch and also not work correctly. So just try that. If that doesn't obviously help the issue that you have in, then you can turn on your VPN again and keep your IP private. Now, the next thing that we want to do with security related things is to open up the start menu and you now need to type in Windows and then security. Open up the Windows security option. Now we need to click on virus and threat protection and you then need to go down to this option here that says manage under virus and threat protection. The next thing that you need to do if you want to, so there's gonna be two options here. The next thing that you want to do is turn the real time protection to off. Now your computer will be maybe vulnerable to threats, so only do this if you you know, feel safe to doing this, this is at your own risk, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, once you've done that, try and launch the game again. If you do not want to turn off this, then that's fine, just keep it on. And the next thing that you need to do is go back to the virus and threat protection, and we then need to click onto allowed threats. Nope, that's incorrect, sorry. You need to click onto manage settings, and we're then going to scroll down this is in the same area again where it said real-time protection. Scroll down and under exclusions, you want to click on add or remove. 
You then need to click on add an exclusion and then go folder. And we're then going to go to the location where you installed the game. So I actually copied the directory earlier. So you need to then select the folder that says EA Sports FC 24. Just go select folder. Now it should look like this in the exclusions. So this is just going to tell Microsoft Defender and that ignore FC 24. Don't interrupt the game. Let me just play my game. And hopefully that will maybe resolve the problem that you're having. Now, if that didn't work, then the next thing that you need to do is close down Windows Security. Remember, if you did um, disable security real time, to turn it back on again. So once you've done that, right click on the start menu icon and go to settings. You then need to go to gaming. And you now need to ensure that this option here is off. Turn off the Xbox Game Bar Overlay. That also goes for Infidia as well. If you're using Infidia um, Overlay, turn that off. If you're using the AMD Overlay, then disable and turn that off as well. Basically, any overlay that you're using, just turn it all off, FPS overlays and stuff like that. Now, the next thing that we want to do while we're in this area is go to the game mode option as well. And you want to toggle this off. So this is a bit of an odd one. Sometimes this can actually cause issues with the games. So try turning it off. If that doesn't help or whatever, then you can just turn it back on again because obviously it does help optimize Windows for your games. Now that does basically bring me to the end of this video. So like I said, I did go over a lot of fixes and stuff in part one as well. So check out that video in the description below and also check out Easy Game Utility. Like I said, it's a program that I created and I created it for everyone like us um, to make our lives easier with PC gaming and also help you out so you don't have to keep watching these videos on how to troubleshoot your games and fix them. I basically put all the stuff into the program and hopefully one of those buttons will help fix the game for you just with a single click of the button. So if you enjoyed this video, click the like button below and if you want to see more, then obviously click the subscribe. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.